the old fashioned word for pivot is survival. I just lost it. I cried and I just was like, I need to get out of here. There was a worry that we might all have to spend two weeks at home and everyone was flipping out at the idea of two weeks at home and then it became a month and I think I went to sleep and it became three months. I think I went to sleep and it became six months. You know? Probably about a thousand people a week would come through the distillery. You have lovely cocktails or we do experiences, so gin blending classes and whiskey master classes or just to enjoy the bar. It was that week of Friday the 13th that I realized that this was going to be here for a very long time and that everybody had to drastically change the way they were behaving. And then by the next week, the venue had had a capacity restriction, a further capacity restriction, and then was closed. So we went through this stage of sort of realizing that various members of our team were at risk. Uh, and then a large chunk of our business was at risk. The majority of my friends are out of work or have lost their businesses. And they're two distinct things. Like you, when you lose your business, it's not just the money that you put into it, but it's likely to have been a lifelong dream. It's likely to have been something you've focused on for 10 or 20 years to get to that place. Hey, this is my husband, Joe. I'm gonna bring a step ladder. Hello, so this is normally a Michelle only zone. I'm normally the other side of the camera. This is a face for radio. Also, we're yeah. dressed the same. Why are you wearing your t-shirt? Like I'm sure you were not dressed the same on the bottom half. It's what lockdown's I'm gonna doing to I'm going to change my shirt. We are sitting in Auckland, New Zealand, and we did not think we would be here until we heard about this thing called COVID lockdown. We are Nanagill Live, and we believe in science is for everyone, everywhere! Do you want to see some fire? Smoke! Explosions! My, my passion and my mission has always been about how do we improve the diversity of the STEM pipeline so that the people inventing the technology of the future actually represent the people of the world. And so that's where this passion has come from. Well, Australia, the Middle East, and then Edinburgh months, and the UK. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we were going to be on the road from May all the way through to the end of October taking our life science product around the world and it was going to be epic. <laughs> and then we're not. <laughs> All of our live events for this year as a science entertainment company were cancelled. All of our household income and everything was in the business and so to watch that, and we've got staff all over the world, to watch that suddenly disappear as a revenue model was, um, was not the best day we'd ever <laughs> had. I don't know, it might yet turn out to be. You've got to be optimistic about these things. So I'm standing in front of what used to be our office. Obviously, it's all locked down right now for COVID. But luckily, our landlord had a residential place upstairs that became available at the last minute. So we moved in. Come have a look. This is our science creation space. It looks pretty messy. But the real magic is through here. This is our living room slash studio. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nana Gill and I want to be a superhero! Anyway, moving on. Super stacking, projectile power and so many more. We've always made science learning accessible. So uh, entertainment first, but sort of STEM learning in a way that's joyful. Um, and now we're bringing that uh, online with a, with a STEM learning superhero adventure every day that's made right here in Nanogill's lab. So we've got all sorts of things. We've got a fuzzy TV, we've got a pretend virus for those times you need educating about viruses. What's this? A light bulb, a visual indicator. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it's a visual indicator. We never wanted to lie down at the end of this and whatever the outcome is and go, we didn't do anything, we didn't try. So whatever happens, we try. The old fashioned word for pivot is survival. We're talking tens of thousands of litres. I mean, hand sanitizer is just largely alcohol. That's the, that's the point for distillers. So we follow the World Health Organization uh, recipe. So yeah, that's sort of what we've had to sort of give it to. So needless to say, by the end of a blending day, our hands are very clean. I only heard that word pivot two weeks ago, I think, and now it's, I hear it every single day. 
basically hand labeling, hand bottling, working to dispatch goods. We would typically make a blend every four days at minimum, and we're now making a blend every day. Due to the demand of hand sanitizer, I got to offer 10 people jobs yesterday. And that was just, you know, a really quite emotional thing. And I got 16 names with just, you know, horrific sob stories behind them. And I had to pick 10, which is tough, but at least it's 10 people that we can help. What was amazing is the number of people who said, give it to them more before me. They need it more. where your hands vanish oh. if you move them too quickly. You've got a little something. You've got a little change it. Got a little something in your teeth. We've got well, we've got staff in lockdown home offices yeah. uh, in London. Yeah, like London, Van Vancouver, Santa Barbara, Auckland. Lots in lots in Auckland. Depending on our UX person, maybe India tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we'll see where that goes. We're just talking to a couple of developers. Joe will tell you that I had a big meltdown two days ago where... I wouldn't tell anyone that. I well, I'll tell, tell you that. that. Um, it was not pretty and it was just a whole sense of being, feeling overwhelmed. It all got too much and I just lost it. I cried and I just was like, I need to get out of here and then realised I couldn't go anywhere. And so then the frustration of wanting to leave but not actually being able to leave just made it worse. now but I think we're all gonna go through these roller coasters. You know this virus will not destroy the human race and we will you know leave our houses again one day we just have to work out how to get through that with as many of us and our mental health intact as possible but it's gonna pass this too shall pass. And do you think when it does pass you might still be making hand sanitizer? I, I said that on day one I was like I just don't want to ever stop making this product. So I have a motto in that life is full of stories, make sure you're in good stories. So here is a story, we don't know the ending, but we'll talk about it probably for years to come. I'm about to do a live TV cross about whether or not oranges float or sink. It's hard, like yes. we don't know what the ending's gonna be, but I want our story to be open because I know that lots of business owners are doing exactly the same as us. So this is our makeshift office. <laughs> we don't have much in here, it's actually a laptop. Let's talk about how we're feeling and just have these open conversations because if you're open, just realize that you're not alone. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what's gonna happen, but we're trying everything we can to survive and we'll see what comes out at the end of it.